Number 88, Evan Tavares, the ball carrier. Taken down by Connor Lansing. Third down. Tell them to bring my audio up. Hey, bring up. Uh audio up. We apologize. We had some technical difficulties, but uh, my name is Dominic Papa, and glad to have you on this broadcast. The St. Joseph Lasers taking on the Cardinal Carter squad. First and 10 for the Cardinals are at their own 46. We're just underway the first quarter here of this championship game between Cardinal Carter and St. Joe's. The Joe's run, Carter, I should say. Actually, it's St. Joe's with the blue and gold uniforms. First down from the 51 yard line. First down for the Lasers at the Cardinal Carter 51 yard line. Looks like there might have been a fumble there. There was indeed a fumble recovered by Alfred. Lasers will keep the ball Sec second and they give him a yard actually on that as he's now right at the 50 yard line of Cardinal Carter. Brent Webster is the head referee for this contest. And the Lasers stick to the running game and big yards here as they get all the way down into the Cardinal Carter inside the 35, maybe down to the 34. First and 10, St. Joe's as they continue to move the ball here. Cold, blustery day here. At Acumen Stadium. Some people think this is great football weather. I don't know. The fans look like they're pretty bundled up. I guess if you're a player, you don't mind it. Another running play here. 
as that was a first and 10 play from the 34. Maybe picked up a yard. They do give him one yard. Unfortunately, folks, I do not have the luxury of a lineup, so I apologize. I will not be calling out names. I'll see if I can locate a lineup somewhere at halftime. This is going to be a keeper as rolls right, makes a nice move down inside the 20, down to the 15, down to about the 13 yard line. That was Stephen Alfred, the quarterback. He kept the ball. Indeed, it is a St. Joe's first down. First and 10 from the Cardinal Carter 14 yard line. We're scoreless here in the first quarter. St. Clair Bull Day, as they're calling it. Mattia with the carry there. Gets inside the, the 10 down to the 9-yard line. So it's a second and five situation here for St. Joe's. It's the handoff. And Cardinal Carter does a good job of holding off that time. Maybe a couple of yards. Taken down by Diego So it's a third down. Four yards to go here, and the offense stays in for St. Joe's. And flags all over the place. A lot of movement on the line there. Procedure against St. Joe's. Procedure against St. Joe's, according to Brent Webster. Folks, we still have one more game after this, believe it or not. Salvage will take on Essex. Another flag on the play. Here's the pass. That goes incomplete. See what the call is here. Waiting. It's against Cardinal Carter. Offside is the call. So that's a break for St. Joe's. They'll get another crack. As the ball goes back to the eight-yard line, third and four is the is the uh, situation here. Ball's fumbled again, and immediately the Lasers are able to jump right back on it, but they're going to turn over the balls on down, the ball on downs. So Cardinal Cardner bends, but they don't break as they'll take over the ball on downs from their own 10-yard line. First and 10 with 2.54 to go here in the first quarter. You're watching... The St. Clair Bowl Series... Earlier on, you watched St. Anne's take on Brennan. Right now, we're enjoying St. Joe's and Cardinal Cardner, Carter, I should say. Great to see high school football back in full form. 
Hats off to all the coaches, convener Dan Gray, making this happen. Cardinal Carter runs the ball left this time. As I mentioned, a very cold, blustery night here. And with this wind the way it's going, just making things that much colder. They give Cardinal Carter two yards on that last play. This will make it second. Well, actually, they give him three. Second and seven now. Ball is on the 13, the Cardinal Carter 13 yard line. We're scoreless here. A minute and a half to go here in the first quarter. And there's a fumble, and it looks like St. Joe's has come up with it. A huge turnover as the Lasers will have the ball first and goal at the five-yard line of Cardinal Carter. Lasers with a golden opportunity to open the scoring here with just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Touchdown, Cardinal or St. Joe's touchdown. As they punch it through from the five yard line. Go for two points here. And that's not going to happen. As Cardinal Carter are able to shut the door there. So the score with 58 seconds remaining here in the first quarter, the St. Joseph Lasers six, Cardinal Carter, no score. Good turnout here, despite the weather. I have to give the parents and some of the student body credit for coming out. Short kick, and it's fielded by Cardinal Carter. They'll take over the ball with 56 seconds remaining in quarter number one. Looks like they're gonna spot it at about the 45 yard, the 40 yard line, I should say. Cardinal Carter now. We'll see what they can do with the this offense. Good push by the Cardinal Carter front line there as they get the ball out to the 45 yard line so a pickup of about five will be second and five.
quick pitch here going right and taken down after picking up maybe two yards so it'll be a third and about three yards to go here for Cardinal Carter and that's the end of the first quarter with that play as referee Brett Webster indicates it so the score after the first quarter is St. Joe's six Cardinal Cardinal no score Second quarter just underway here at Acumen Stadium. St. Joe's and Cardo Carter doing battle here in the St. Clair Bowl. off here to the right side nice run here for Cardinal Carter as they get into the St. Joe's end of the field down to about the 40 46 yard line of St. Joe's Cardinal Carter down six here trying to get back on even terms Another pitch going right again. Looks like they like to run that right side there. That play good for about seven, and three. seven yards. We'll make it second and three here. As Cardinal Carter on the move here, down six. Time they go left, there's flags on the play. They do have enough for the first down, but we do have flags on the play. They 
do give the first down to Cardinal Carter. It's first and 10 now. Ball on the 34-yard line of St. Joe's. St. Joe's scored the lone touchdown in the first quarter. They lead it 6 nothing. Loss of three yards there, second and 13. We're gonna call it now for Cardinal Carter. Ball at the 37 yard line. There's the pitch, they go right again. They get inside the 30, shy of the first down though. Ball spotted at the 29-yard line of St. Joe's. So it's going to be a th third down situation here. About five yards to go for the first down. 7-15 seven, seven, to go here in the second quarter. Offside looks like flags all over the place again. See who this is against. It's against Cardinal Carter. That's going to set them back five yards. So it'll be a third and ten situation now. Cardinal Cardinal during the season went four and three. Scoring 184 points in those seven games and surrendering 101. There's the pass over the middle, incomplete. Looks like a catchable ball, but that's gonna turn over the balls on the ball on downs. St. Joe's holds up defensively. St. Joe's played five games during the regular season. They went four and one, scoring 148 points and only allowing 69. Cardinal Carter coming into this game, unfortunately on a three game losing streak. They started the year four and oh. Great defensive play there by Cardinal Carter. Again, I don't have the luxury of a lineup. I apologize for that. Five forty and counting down here in the second quarter. Second and 18 as they lose eight yards on that play. Good defensive stance here by Cardinal Carter. Stephen Alfred is the quarterback of St. Joe's, I am seeing snow starting now. Yes, it looks like snow. And it's blowing pretty good, folks. Here's the 
There's the punt. And a good tackle there by the Lasers. Cardinal Carter takes over the ball at their own 51-yard line. First and 10, four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. St. Joe's leading 6-0. First and 10 now for Cardinal Carter. Fumble again. St. Joe's picks it up. He's got room. St. Joe's, another fumble. And Cardinal Carter gets the ball back. Oh, my. One fumble after another here. And Cardinal Carter gets the ball back. Otherwise, St. Joe's puts themselves in great position to increase their lead. But with that, <laughs> the ball way back on the Cardinal Carter now, 31. First and 10 as they take over possession again. Here's the pitch. This seems to be the go-to play for Cardinal Carter. Damian Kennedy is the ball carrier. Looks like they pick up about seven or eight with that play. Three minute warning has just been issued. Another pitch again. This is, I believe it is Kennedy again. He gets more than enough for the first down as he crosses to the, looks like the 52 yard line they're gonna spot it. First and 10 there for Cardinal Carter. Two twenty-five and counting down here in the first half. St. Joe's leading six nothing over Cardinal Cardinal. Our second of three Saints Bowl Series games here today. Final one will be Selage taking on Essex. And there's a flag on the play here. St. Joe's called for the offside. time they go left I believe that's Kennedy again he seems to get the bulk of the duties in the backfield that is another lasers first down or I should say Cardinal Carter first down as they move into the lasers end of the field down to the 47 yard line. First and 10, Cardinal Carter. A 
140 and counting down here in the second quarter. Give five yards on that play. Minute 25 to go here in the second quarter. We're coming to you from Acumen Stadium on the campus of St. Clair College. The Saints Bowl Series day here. Three championship games. Of course, there was also a junior game earlier on in the day. Cardinal Carter stops short that time. In fact, they lose a couple of yards. So it's going to be third down now for Cardinal Carter and seven. One minute to go here in the half. pitch. Oh, what a great play there by the Lasers number seven. Ball's turned over on downs with about half a minute to go here in the second quarter. Cardinal Carter unable to penetrate deep into the St. Joe's end of the field. And St. Joe's was very stingy during the regular season in five games, only surrendering 69 points. That scrimmage started at the 47 yard line, first and 10. Looks like he picked up about seven yards there. Timeout called by St. Joe's. Six nothing. St. Joe's leading Cardinal Carter here in the Second of three St. Clair Bowl Series games. Sandwich and Essex will finish it off starting at approximately 7 p.m. this evening. This time the lasers go left. A big hole there on the left side. All the way down to the Cardinal Carter. Looks like about the 22 yard line, 20 yard line as they keep pushing there. With 12 seconds remaining, the Lasers have a chance to take a shot at the end zone here perhaps. As they spot the ball at the 20 yard line of Cardinal Carter. 12 seconds remaining. St. Joe's has called another timeout. Look at Cardinal Carter there. You can see some of the fans. If you notice the cars behind the fence there, they're sitting in their cars watching the game. It's so cold. Definitely cooled down below freezing, that's for sure. And there's a good wind. And like I said, there is, it seems like it's a little bit of a lake effect snow. Oh, 
hand off there at that time going right. Second and eight, they're calling it, as this could be the last play of the first half. Barring any penalties, it looks like they're going to go to the end zone perhaps. No, it's intercepted after the deflection, and that's going to end the first half. So after two quarters of play, St. Joseph leads Cardinal Carter by a 6-0 score. We're going to take a timeout. We'll come back with the call of the second half. You're watching Wexa Championship Football on We Digital Productions.
Okay, watch it. Your camera's moved here. Steven, you got to pay attention. Okay. Welcome back to Acumen Stadium, the site of the St. Clair College Saints Bowl Series of Championship Games. This game featuring the St. Joseph Lasers in the blue and gold against the Cardinal Carter Cougars. Second half about to kick off the St. Joe's Lasers leading 6 0. And again, I apologize to those viewing. I do not have the luxury of a roster. I can tell you. It is blowing here. There are lake effect snows going on. Uh, it's all the elements of a mid-November football night, I'll tell you. So St. Joe's will take over the ball. Actually inside the Cardinal Carter side of the field. Looks like they're gonna spot the ball at the 53 yard line. First and ten for the Lasers as they lead six nothing. Second half just underway here. As they go right, pick up some good yardage there. More than enough for a first down. They give them 11 yards with that run. First and 10 for the Lasers. Looks like they're gonna spot it at the 42 yard line of Cardinal Carter. Three yards on that play, second and seven they're calling it. The ball at the Cardinal Carter, the Cougars 39 yard line. This time they go left, getting to the outside. Lots of room here. Down inside the 10, touchdown! St. Joe's as they take a 12 nothing lead. A 39 yard run. So they'll go for the two point try. Ball spotted on the five yard line. 9.41 to go here in the third quarter. A big touchdown there for St. Joe's as they have taken a 12-0 lead. And it'll be close. Doesn't look like they made it though. 
So it's unsuccessful. So that'll keep the score 12 nothing in favor of St. Joe's over the Cardinal Carter Cougars. 9.41 to go here in the third quarter. If you're just tuning in, this is the St. Clair Bowl Series. Four championship games here today, including this one. There was a junior championship earlier. St. Anne's and Brennan battled. And following this game will be Sandwich and Essex starting at approximately 7 p.m. And the wind keeps picking up. And you can see the if one of our camera guys can get a shot of the flagpoles, the uh, goalposts, they're blowing pretty good as well. There's a look at it. You can see the, the lake effect snow blowing as well. It's It's got all the elements going, I'll tell you. So the Cougars will take over the ball, first and 10 with nine and a half to go here in the third quarter. Ball is spotted at the, looks like the 41 yard line, first and 10. Cougars have to get some offense going as they're down a couple of scores here. Another fumble there. Immediately falls on it though and Cougars will keep the ball. Falls right on the original line of scrimmage. And they go right. A couple of yards short, I think. Third and a couple of yards to go here at the 49, the Cougars 49. 7.45 and counting down here in the third quarter. St. Joe's leads it 12 nothing. Looks like they're going to be short. Yes, indeed. The Cardinal Coug Carter Cougars will turn the ball over on downs. St. Joe's will have good field position starting at the Cougars 49 yard line. They lead it 12 nothing, and looking to increase their lead here. Just over seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. Handoff going right this time. Getting to the outside, down to the 5th, 20, 15, finally forced out of bounds all the way down to the 13-yard line. A great run there by the Lasers as they are threatening to increase their lead. Now first and 10 inside the 15 down to the 13-yard line. 640 and counting down here in the third quarter.
Quarterback keeper this time, trying to get to the outside. Second effort, he's going to get in and score. Touchdown, St. Joe's. As he fought off a tackle and got some open field and was able to score six. That makes the score 18-0 for the Lasers. No flags on the play. It will stand. So we're going to try the kick this time, point after. But the Lasers increasing their lead. That's going to make it tough for the Cougars to get back into this one. Even though there's still a full quarter left, they have not been able to move the ball very well. Here's the point after try. And it's a fake. And it's not going to work. So that'll keep the score at 18 nothing in favor of St. Joe's. 6.05 remaining here in the third quarter. You can see the weather conditions here. It's not a heavy snow or anything like that, but it's certainly blowing. Certainly see a lot of blankets here at the Acumen Stadium. Fielded at the 20 yard line by the Cougars. A couple of moves and looks like at a boat, uh, that'll be about a 23 yard return. Or check that, I should say a 13 yard return or 18 yard return. I gotta work on my math, folks. <laughs> 18 yard return. First and 10 for the Cougars at their own 38 yard line. They're down 18 nothing to the Lasers. 550 and counting down here to go in the third quarter. And again, the wind gusts are picking up. on the play wide open big play here for the Cougars as they get down to all the way down to the 32 yard line of St. Joe's but there is a flag on the play the play will stand for Cardinal Carter as the penalty was against St. Joe's so this is a huge play for the Cougars as they're trying to get back into this game with just over five minutes to go in the third quarter. They put the ball at the 33 yard line to be exact, first and 10.
Penalties against St. Joe's offside. So we'll redo first down again. Ball at the 28 now, first and 10. Or first and five at the 28 for the Cougars. Cougars trying to get on the score sheet here. Down 18. Here's the pitch. Goes left. Picks up about three or four. That'll be second. Or is it? It'll be third down and about one. Or check that second and one, I should say, as there was a penalty on the previous play. Second and one here for the Cougars. So the Cougars are successful and are actually looking to extend the drive here. Third and one situation at the 24. A big push there and they get the job done and then some. Good play there by the Cougars to get the first down. Let's see where they spot the ball exactly. Looks like they're going to put it at about the first and 10 at the St. Joe's 19 yard line. Cougars trying to get on the scoreboard here with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. And they're down 18 nothing, as you can see on the scoreboard. Pitch this time going left. That was Damian Kennedy. He wears jersey number two. St. Joe's bench fired up, trying to encourage the defense. Second and eight to go here. A minute and a half to go in the third quarter. And no room that time for Kennedy on the right side. Third and eight situation now for the Cougars. Trying to extend the drive here. Wide open, touchdown! Great play by the Cougars. No flags on the play. That'll make it 18-6 with the point after coming up.
point after kick is up and that kick is good that'll make the score St. Joe's Lasers 19 or 18 the Cardinal Carter Cougars 7 42 seconds remaining here in the third quarter a nice drive put together there by the Cougars kick now again we have one more game in this Saints Bowl series day here at the Acumen Stadium Salvage Sabres will take on the Essex Raiders that should be a dandy game as both those teams Went a perfect 7-0. and Both of them put up a lot of points. And both of them gave up very few points. So it's the battle of the Titans, that's for sure. Short kick, onside kick. Ball is loose, still loose. And I think finally the Lasers are able to fall on it. St. Joseph is able to take over the ball with 36 seconds to go here in the third quarter. They lead at 18 to 7. Ball spotted on the road, the St. Joe's 48. First and 10. Clock winding down now with less than 10 seconds to go. This could be the last play of the third quarter. Hand off. And indeed it is the end of the third quarter. 12 minutes to go in this one. St. Joe's leads the Cardinal Carter Cougars 18 to seven after three quarters of play. St. Joe's with the ball. That was second and six at their own 52. They're short of the first down yardage needed. They lead at 18 7. Third and five from the 53 yard line. Low snap, side to kick, and there's a flag on the play here. And that's going to be a no yards, no yards penalty. Cardinal Carter takes over the ball with 10:41 to go here in the fourth quarter. Down 11, 
to the St. Joseph Lasers. are on. Finally got some lights put on up here. And again, I do want to apologize to our viewers. I do not have the luxury of a lineup. There's a fumble. It looked like Kennedy jumping right back on it though, so the Cougars will keep the ball and actually get a first down. Ball out to the Cougars 54 yard line. Another fumble on, uh, at the snap here. A lot of drops in this one. Second and ten. The ball remains at the 54-yard line of the Cougars. They're down 11. Just over nine minutes to go here in this contest. To the left this time, lots of room this time for the Cougars, and they have another first down. They're on the move. Ball is going to be spotted at the 37 yard line of St. Joe's. Big chunk of yardage gained there. Just over eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Cougars showing a lot of fight, trying to inch closer in this game. Under center, it's quarterback keeper. Maybe picks up a couple of yards, maybe three. picking up again second and seven now for the Cougars at the St. Joe's 34 yard line seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter and they go left this time looks like they're going to be a couple of yards short though Call it third and two. Ball's at the St. Joe's 29 yard line. Right. Movement on the line again, flags all over. And it's against the Cougars. 
That's not going to help the cause. Fumble there, and St. Joe's, I think, has got the ball. Yes, they do. That play just never had a chance right from the get-go as the lasers were all over it and then forced the fumble. Big turnover there for the lasers as the Cougars were showing some uh, momentum, signs of life. Ball spotted at the St. Joe's 40-yard line. First and 10, 5.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. St. Joe's trying to hang on here, win a championship. Pitch going left. They lose five yards there, second and 18 for the Lasers. Oh my, all kinds of open field here for the Lasers down to the 30, 20, 15, 10, touchdown, St. Joe's. A huge play, no flags on the play. Seventy-eight yard touchdown run for the Lasers. That might just do it, folks, as they jump out to a 24-7 lead with 402 remaining here in the contest. Point after try coming up here. Kick is up and the kick is through. That makes it St. Joe's 25, Cardinal Carter 7, with just over four minutes to go in this contest. Like I said, that play may have just put the final nail in the coffin. See what the Cougars can do here when they receive this ball. It'd be no doubt the hurry up offense.
bobbled. Finally picked up by the Cougars. No return though. Ball will be spotted, it looks like, at about the 42 yard line of Cardinal Carter. 3.56 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kinds of movement again at the line. I think Saint, I think Cardinal Carter is going to be guilty there. Yes, indeed. A call made by head referee Brent Webster. That'll cost them five. It'll be first and fifteen now. Ball at the thirty-seven. Three nineteen and counting down in this one. St. Joe's in control. Nowhere for Kennedy to go there. He did manage to get three yards back. Ball at the forty now. Second and 12. <laughs> 245 and counting down in this one. St. Joe's on their way to a championship here in the Saints Bowl Series. St. Joe's will finish off their season at five and one. Cardinal Carter will have to settle for a four and four campaign. Pass over the middle, complete. Nice play here by the Cougars. That's a first down. Ball into the St. Joe's end of the field, spotted at the 53 yard line. Three minute warning has been issued. Actually, there's 2.10 to go here. First and 10 from the 52 yard line of the Lakers. Wind picking up here again. Here's a long pass, and that goes incomplete. Second and 10 now here for the Cougars. 143 to go in this contest. 25-7, St. Joe's in control. Fumble there off the snap. Ball is still on the ground. And finally, they're able to fall on it. And tackled by number 84 for the Lasers, Xander Price. I'm going to give a shout out to St. Clair College and the St. Clair College Athletic Association for their support of this broadcast. Also hats off to the college for hosting these games and creating the Saints Bowl Series. What a tremendous idea to finish off the year. And again, to all the high school coaches that got 
high school football going again this year. So needed. And we certainly thank them for all their efforts and commitment. And They're going to replay the down. There was an inadvertent whistle, is what they tell us. I want to give a shout out to Dan Gray, the convener also of uh, Wexa Football. Working through this, trying to get this thing back on track. Of course, no football last year. It was sorely missed, that's for sure. There's a lot of question marks coming into it this year. Flag on the play. Is that uh, might have been like one of those horse collar things. But uh, just to get it back and getting a schedule in and getting the athletes back on the field, such a, such a great accomplishment and very much needed. Hopefully it continues and next year we can do it a little bit bigger, a little bit better perhaps. But this is a good start, that's for sure. Minute and a half to go in this one as seems to be taking forever. And a big penalty there against the Lasers as you can see the ball down to the St. Joe's 37 first and 10. Goes right this time. Kennedy's still up. Kennedy, what a great effort by Kennedy. He's going to score a touchdown. Outstanding effort there. A 37 yard run. The Lasers missing a couple of tackles there and it was Kennedy making them pay for it. Just an outstanding run, 37 yards out. That'll make the score 25-13 point after coming up here. Got to give credit to the Cougars. Uh, despite the score and being late in the game, they're still showing a lot of fight. Point after try here. Kick is up. And I think it went over. It looked like it was good. Yes, indeed it was. So add another point. That makes it 25-14 with 117 to go in this contest. With 117 to play, St. Joe's lead, St. Joe's lead 25 to 14. You can see some of the fans for the Essex Sandwich game filing into Acumen Stadium. See if they go, it looks like they're going to kick to the left side. Onside kick here, try to get the ball back and take another crack at the end zone. It looks like the Cougars have come up with it. As the Lasers didn't handle it well. And the Cougars have the ball back, first and ten. Fifteen to go here, and the Cougars have the ball at the their own fifty-two yard line, first and ten. You just never know. And 
looks like there was a fumble again on the snap. At center and recovered by Cardinal Carter. Cardinal Carter was able to fall on it. They lost a yard there, second and 11. This game winding down. Just over a minute to go. Clock is running. Both teams have two timeouts left. Nice run here by the Cougars. They get out of bounds to stop the clock. They get a first down. Tiago Verissimo on the carry left. First down for the Cougars. Tackle made by Alex Stein. Thirty-nine seconds remaining here. Ball on the St. Joe's forty-five. It's time they go right. A nice tackle there. After just a couple of yards picked up. I should check that. That's about six yards, six yards were picked up. And four from the Second and four. Under 30 seconds to go. St. Joe's is going to hang on to win this. Maybe not. <laughs> Finally taken down. Another great run. Down to the St. Joe's they put the ball on the 11-yard line of St. Joe's. Just eight seconds to go, though. If Cardinal Carter could have run the ball like this in the first half. Story might be a little bit different here. We're going to get a timeout here. Again, following this game will be the Sewage and Essex Championship game. And that'll wrap up the first, what we hope becomes an annual Saints Bowl Series Day. This could be the last play of the game. We're gonna run it. The horn does go to signify the end of the game and Car Cardinal Carter, the Cougars, unable to punch it in. The St. Joe Lasers win it 25-14 is the final. So St. Joe's claims a tier two championship. Good effort by Cardinal Carter in that second half. Like I said, if they would have had that game running the way they did in the second half in the first half, they would have given themselves a better chance, I think. We're gonna wrap up, take a break. We're gonna warm up a little bit and we'll come back with the third and final game of the evening. It'll be Sandwich taking on Essex. On behalf of everybody here at We Digital Productions, this is Dominic Papa saying so long.